continuing on, we played the Jacksonville Jaguars with Nick Gokum as the QB, and you can see that we held him to 136 yards. He may have not played the whole game. And Brendan Lloyd had four touchdowns, so that was pretty sweet. Let's take a look at the player stats. Oh, even Avery Stork got a couple of passes in. So, yeah, that was it. That's all they had for their offense. Four yards of carry for Marquise Allison. Kyle Juszczyk got 6.5 yards on a couple of dump offs. John Ross had a big game. He catches 74 yards. Lexi Hughes. Touchdowns everywhere. Defensively. Sack for Marshawn Murray and Mike Daniels and four interceptions. Kevin King, Jerry Alexander, Justin Reed, and Josh Jones. So we won. We are five and two after that little escapade. Now, do we sell some backups? But first, we upgrade our running back. Gets another point of elusive. He's up to 89. Nice. 26 years old, so he should hit 90. 90, 91 maybe. All right, we got some trade offers. And uh, let's look at let's look at stats. Oh, I guess I can just do it from here, huh? Stats. Okay, let's take a look. He's got 12 tackles and a sack and a half. So he's he's under from last year when he finished with six and a half. And he should say, oh, it's under general. 270 snaps, so he's less action. I think he's expendable. I think we can take him off here and have one of the younger people step up on defense. And Will Levy would be the backup. How's he looking for his stats so far? Nothing yet, so big increase for him. And then the other one is Justin Reed. I'm fine with that one. I think that's a fine. Like, we can get something for him and not really suffer. Justin Reed. Um, Gongli would pay back up safety. Yikes. See, this one hurts a little bit more because there's not much behind him. Got a sack. Two interceptions this year. That's pretty good, huh? How many, uh... A little, a little more than last year. So you get... Oh, that's a tough one. That one makes me a little more nervous, but... As long as Josh Jones doesn't get hurt. Look at our trade offers. So, third, seventh, third, fifth, third, fifth, seventh. This one's slightly. A second, a sixth, and a seventh next year. Second and a fifth, a third. If I'm doing it, I'm taking the second, I'm taking the Jacksonville Jaguars um, pick for him. We're we'll gonna pick up a, a second, a sixth, and a seventh a year from now, which will be absolutely nothing. Yeah, so we'll probably go. Yeah, there's no way to Jacksonville it is. And then Justin here. 
He's only got three offers. A third, a seventh, and a sixth next year. A third and a, a third this year. A third next year. A third next. This is only this one. So then we get another third, a seventh, and a sixth the following year. And then we'll figure out what we can trade for or sign to replace those two. What is uh what does the safety market look like on the free agent market? A seventy five. So that's only five points for a a little drop off. Yeah, and yeah, we can do that. We'll do that one too. And then uh, we can also do the uh, Trade Center. Oh wait, I think you can do it from here. Improve my team. These guys. I looked at this yesterday and I only saw one player that I thought was okay. You know, Micah hide back. They're just going to want too much for him. Yeah, and I I don't re oh yeah yeah I do actually it was a hat it was a running back. Frank Gamble, the star running back that is a seventy overall. It'd be cheap. Um. Cheap and three years left on his contract. You know, it's not a bad deal. I mean, Aaron Jones is going to be gone after this year, and then Jamal Williams will drop a little bit, so they'll be, you know, playing with Jamal Williams as the backup kind of thing. So, wow, that was my stomach grumbling. So we only get two shots at that, so what should we... They want a right tackle. We only have one, so not going to happen. Alright, so we should trade... Actually, let's, let's, let's see what they paid for him. He's a sixth round pick. Pick five in the sixth round. So if we give him a fourth, would they take it? This year's fourth? And next year's seventh. How does that look? I don't think that's going to be enough. <laughs> uh, this year's third. And next year's sixth. So a third and a sixth might pull it off. A 70 for a third, but he's star development. Oops. Okay. And a sixth. Here we go, guys. Oh, a third and a six. It needs to be a little bit more. Do we really want him? 
So this means next year's fifth. That should be enough. Mm, it might not be actually. A third and a fourth. That'll probably get it done, huh? Okay. Third and the fourth. Okay, that's that's what they accepted, and we got a new running back. Change my pick. It's gonna go to Denver for the two and the fifth instead of the two sixth and the seventh, because the seventh is just useless. So, yeah, two and a fifth. Have a chance with a fifth. One in Texans for a third, a seventh, and a sixth. A quick look at our picks as they stand. A one, two twos, a three, four, two fives, a six, and two sevens. Sign Lee White here just as a one-year fill-in. 27-year-old safety, hybrid, 86 speed, 83 acceleration. He should be okay. Um, yeah, just a backup. So there we. It's Matt Ryan and the Bears. 39-year-old Matt Ryan. Gerilyn Wheeler waiting one year behind it. One waiting behind him with this superstar development. Fullback is Jordan Howard still. Frank Moody. Fullback is Freddie Stevenson, a real one. Allen Robinson is a wide receiver. Tight end is Wilf Adel. We got any other you know, real James McDaniels is the center. Trey Hendrickson. Helen Gatewood. David Irving still getting it done at defensive tackle. Aaron Lynch. Roquan Smith isn't going anywhere for a while. 99 overall. Leonard Floyd. MJ Stewart Jr. Eddie Jackson is the safety, and Adrian Amos, the Packer, is the free safety. Should be a good game. Let's take a look at Super Slimming the Slow Mode. Packers are kicking off first. Roster has been changed a little bit. Um, Traded away two defensive players. Signed one, so Marcus is gone. And uh, Justin Reed is gone. And then we have a new running back. Just gets the pass off, but it's blowing up. Let's take a look at that defense. Can't remember what the uh, number of the new safety was. It's 75 overall, I remember that. I mean, I shouldn't be on the field as much. Matt Ryan hands it off to Jordan Howard up the middle, but there's a flag on the play. I heard that they patched Madden to now get rid of the um, fall forward bug, so I might update this. And uh, I have my PlayStation 4 not plugged in. Alright, second down and 15 for the Bears and Matt Ryan. It's so weird to say that. I'm Hand off to Moody. Moody up the middle. Makes a cut. Is that Matt Ryan coming in the block too? Do you see that? Remember when he went to go block? Oh, who was it? Cam Jordan, I think? No, no, no. It was Nick Fairley. He decided that that was a bad idea. That was a pretty funny video. You should look it up. 
Thomas. Earl Thomas missing the tackle there. All right. Third and seven. Here's a big third down stop right here for the Packers defense. Rushing four. Deep pass. Oh, fair little beat. 24. Oh, that's our safety. So our safety was on the field. Kevin Lee. Or Kevin White. Kevin White, I think his name was. Well, that just bit me in the butt, didn't it? First down for them. Now they're going to run the ball. Good run for Jordan. Got a few yards, huh? Long drive going on here. Four minute of time already. Four. Ooh. There we go. Oh, and a flag, too. Hopefully it wasn't holding. Let's take a look at that. Did they accept it? They accepted it. You see 24 on the field now. I see 23, which is Jarir. Late hand off to Moody, but nowhere to run. As Shirley Spencer makes the tackle. Third down and 18. No pressure, no pressure. Deep pass down the thing. Oh, intercepted by Jerry Alexander. Nice pick. Nagging the ball out of the air. It's our number one corner for a reason. Packers offense is on the field. It's a handoff to Allison who gets blown up right away. Not a good way to start the uh, the drive with a two-yard loss. Going from under center. Handoff around the corner. Nowhere to go. It's blown up again. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. So third down and 12. This might be a fast broadcast if they don't get something big here. Our left-handed quarterback is in the shotgun. Three wide receiver sets to his left. Back to pass. Pass broken up by the defense. And a Chicago injury. And the Packers are going to punt. I'll let you know how the game goes. Neither quarterback had a good game, but uh, their offense did a little bit better than our rushing attack. So uh, for some reason, it wasn't good. Okay, passing yards, but they lost the game, which is unfortunate. Couple interceptions, but no sacks. And I'm not sure if. Hmm, bummer. Bummer, bummer. Well, that's the end of this episode, guys. See you next one. Be you, Squalor. Signing out. Episode 46 is in the books. Goodbye. So it's with a heavy heart that I say that this is episode 46 is going to be my last episode for this series. Decided to uh, start a new series. We're going to stick with Mike McCarthy. Uh, he's going to be a new coach of the Packers, like taking all that stuff in the past. New innovative coach of the Packers. We'll start it back over. The draft for, in real life just finished. Um, Mike McCarthy's no longer the quarter coach, but we're going to do that. It was fun. This was a very exciting franchise playthrough. Uh, we did win a Super Bowl. Uh, let me go to my... So we ended up playing 
six seasons here. Six and a half because we got halfway through. Uh, we won a Super Bowl, lost in the divisional round, didn't make it into the playoffs, lost an NFC Championship game, and then didn't make it into the playoffs for two times in a row. Uh, real quickly, so we can take a look at the remaining players from the original Packers. So we're talking six and a half years. So David Bakhtiari is still here. Uh, he is now 32 years old, kind of coming down in his thing. Uh, the kind of interesting one is Aaron Jones is still here in his seventh year, and Jamal Williams is here also in his seventh year on defense. Defense, we got uh, Blake Martinez making it through in his eighth year now, and haha -ha Clinton Dix, who got hurt, but uh, we moved him from safety to linebacker. Josh Jones, Josh Jackson still here. Kevin King's still here. Kenny Clark is definitely still here. Kenny Clark is an amazing player. Mike Daniels came back after leaving for a little bit. Jair Alexander is an amazing player. Got to do the 3-4 run with that defense. Uh, J.K. Scott still here. So, like I said, it was it was a fun run, and uh, I just I just feel like it's time to uh, start anew with little different spin on the franchise the last one I was very um, dedicated to the players like I was more of a fan than I was an owner let's get a tea drink here this time around it's gonna be more more owner owner versus fan so uh, I tried to keep the Packers players around as long as I could before I had to let them move on and uh, that sometimes that wasn't in the best interest so we'll we'll try a, a different method uh, our running back that we drafted in the first round or second round it's pretty pretty nice probably gonna go power back this time around though on uh, even though well, I guess it, it's supposed to be elusive but yeah uh, I don't know we'll have to see how things work out brought Earl Thomas in and uh yeah so uh yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you guys watch the new episode we'll bring aaron back at 35 years old and all the fun tribulations of uh paying a quarterback a whole heck of a lot of money so uh, that was the only thing nice about this time period is that oh i can show you here we have i mean we've got 79 million dollars in cap room right now because we don't not paying a big old heavy quarterback salary and you know so that was pretty impressive or it's it's uh let's see where does that show i guess that's under my coach no it's not it's uh i don't can't find it must be here salaries oh my goodness here we go, salaries. So uh, let's see who's got the biggest salary in 2000. Kenny Clark, David Bakhtiari, haha, Kyrie Lauderdale, Blake Martinez, Jake Alexander, Terry Alexander, Mike Daniels. See, there wasn't really much to it. Was kind of disappointed in not being able to get uh, Aaron Donald. I should have put even more money into it, but like I said, this is going to be it. Thanks for watching the series. Bye.